Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I created this pretty floral design. The inspiration came from this beautiful Carolina Herrera dress, and I rarely work with nail art tape, but this one made me break it out. So you'll also need a thin art brush and of course your polishes. So we're going to jump right in. I have a clear base coat on my nail and I've cut up a bunch of pieces of nail art tape. Now I am not a fan of working with tape, I rarely use it. But in this case, the design was so pretty, I knew I wanted to give it a try. So I'm just randomly placing the tape on my nail. And then we're going to apply some polish on top. It's important to remember the order you put your nail art tape on your nail because you're going to remove the tape in the opposite order. So I'm applying the polish to my nail, getting a good thick coat of coverage. And that's because I only want to do the one coat here. And it's important to move quickly once you apply your polish because you want to remove your tape while your polish is still wet. And this way you're going to get nice crisp lines. So I'm just using my tweezers and carefully removing the tape. Again, I'm removing it in the opposite order I put on. So the last piece of tape that went on my nail is the first piece to come off. And this is going to help you get nice clean lines. Okay, so for the flowers, we're going to create them the same way I create most of my flowers in my previous tutorials. The only difference here is I'm kind of doing it like a little bit of a puzzle piece. I'm creating the flower in pieces, leaving behind those negative space stripes because I want this broken flower design. For the base of the flower, I've got two pink shades of polish, a dark and a light, and I've mixed them together on a piece of tin foil. And this just gives the flower, I feel, a little bit more dimension rather than just a flat color for that base. In some spots, you'll see I have more of the darker shade and some spots more of the lighter. For the flowers, you're just going to randomly place them on your nail. Add a big flower and a couple small or add a bunch of small flowers. Really, it's up to you. And I like to try to place the flowers wherever there is a line on the nail because I do want to give it that full broken look. For the leaves, again, I've mixed two shades of polish, a really dark green and a white. And again, I feel it just gives it a little bit more dimension. And to bring the flowers to life, I'm now adding some curved lines. I'm using my white polish on this flower that's a little bit darker. And on my larger flower where you can really see the different shades of pink, I'm adding in, again, some white kind of curved and squiggly lines. But I'm going to go in once I've finished with the white. And I'm going to do the same thing with a darker shade of pink. I don't add these curved and squiggly lines with the darker shade of pink to the full flower, but just on the lower half, and I feel it just gives the flower more of a 3D look. And of course, the most important thing with any nail design is to give it a really good top coat, and I find a good top coat really smooths out and finishes the design. If you guys like this one and recreate it, don't forget to hashtag me. I love seeing your recreations on Instagram. And of course, thumbs up and comments are always so much appreciated. And please subscribe so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks, guys.